So uh, I forgot to tell you, I read that this French artist created a real life hoverboard. Really? Yeah. I mean, you can't stand on it, but he had it like on a desk. During the demo, he slid a ruler underneath to show there were no strings attached or anything. And when you press down on it, it bounced back up to its original place. How do you keep it uh, stable though? You know, with magnets, you have uh, like a positive pole and a negative pole. Uh -huh. And like poles, like two positives or two negatives, repel one another. Well, I think the guy used two similar poles, like one on the bottom of this hoverboard and one on the top of this base. So oh, okay. they repelled one another, and then he used lasers to stabilize it. Oh, that's so, pretty awesome. Yeah, real life hoverboard. Have you ever heard of the maglev train system? Uh, yeah, in Japan. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's magnetic levitation. But uh, it's attached to a track, so they don't need the laser guidance system. Very smooth ride, yep. kind of like this. And uh, they go 361 miles an hour. Yeah, that's a green lightning. Yeah. Because it doesn't use fossil fuel. I have big news. We are turning our hit podcast, Stuff You Should Know, into a TV show. Into a hit TV show. Yeah. And first we have to figure out what we're going to talk about. Well, let's talk about stuff we usually talk about, like can humans really control the weather? Man, I feel just like Val Kilmer, a real genius. Or uh, how about alien hand syndrome? Right. Or maybe even tacos. Chuck. Now I want a taco, fish tacos, wrapped in sloppy joes. Ooh. 